Nigerian coach Austin Terezo Ibovo and uh, of course uh, Super Eagles winger Samuel uh, Moses Simon, I beg your pardon. Uh, of course, we have the media officer Femi Raji with them too. We're going to be taking just six questions. We'll have them two directed to Moses Simon, four directed to the coach. Please, when you introduce yourself, you will tell us the medium you represent and your name. Or your name and the media you represent, okay? We don't want overflowing, and that's why we have chairs, so you have to go to the back. We don't want it to... Good evening, everyone. My name is David Oku from Flow FM. Um, are here? Moses, you're having a fine season with Nons. Congrats. Yeah, especially the game against PSG when you run riders. I'm coming to the question. Relax. Moses, one house, one house. Moses, looking forward to tomorrow. How? In a perfect condition, are you for tomorrow's game, and how do you plan to enjoy yourself out there? Any other question for Moses? Pius, please hold down here, please quickly. Two questions, he answers them. Yeah, um, good evening. Uh, my name is Pius. I work with Cool FM Nigeria Info and uh, Wazibi FM Abuja. Moses Simon, yes. Um, Nigeria played against Tunisia. You were caged against Ghana. The first leg, you were also caged. Um, a lot of people are clamoring for Austin and Bavon to be to actually switch, maybe use another player if given the opportunity. Can you replicate the form against Egypt and um, the other two teams? Uh, thank you very much. My answer goes to the first guy there. Um, of course, um, um, of course, you will see the form in tomorrow's game because um, it's not about, all about me. It's all about the team and uh, team spirit. So, of course, we know all the takes for this game. So, um, we will give everything. Uh, my second um, answer goes to to you. The game against Tunisia was not caged. So if you see on the stage, no, sorry. And uh, we talk about the game against Ghana. Of course, uh, it's tactics, because we all know um, it can be difficult, because we know how Ghana play. So we decide to retreat back, because the point is enough for us, because we all know when they come here, they will take it. Thank you. Thank you very much, Moses. I can go straight up uh, for the training session now. Coach. Coach, a uh, lot of expectations for Nigeria, and they saw what happened in Ghana. So, what is your message at this group of match? Expectations are high, we uh, Nigerians, football lovers, Super Eagles supporters. Uh, and they know football as well. They will be praying, cheering for the team. They should continue in that manner. And we can promise them at the end of the day, everybody will be happy at the end of the day. So they should keep, keep the support high. Fill up the stadium tomorrow and cheer as well. I'm calling the uh, Coach, going into tomorrow's game and looking back at what happened from Kumasi how they got a point. What is the biggest question for you that you think you have to answer in tomorrow's game, whether from a personal point of view or tactical point of view? It's called goals. It's a community you really come, you know, in a high level matches like this. So when you have a chance you have to take it. Ghana played very well, uh, played it from day one. It's not a crucial by the thing that we respect. And the same way they respect Nigeria team as well. And yeah, they played very well. There was no clear call chance for Ghana team, but we came close to scoring. So what we need to do tomorrow, 
every chance we get tomorrow must count. So scoring goals is what we're trying to correct. The aspirations of young coaches, both young and old, are you under pressure? Do you have anything to prove? Thank you. I am not under any pressure. Yes, I am representing all Nigerian coaches, both old and young. The only thing is, with you guys as well, we want to do collectively the Qatar. So that's what that's the message. Once we cross the line tomorrow, everybody will be jubilating. Once you were forced into making two substitutions, uh, as you know, said, Bonke and uh, something too crazy. Any updates as regards their fitness? That's a very interesting one. I think they are still under observation. Uh, Chukweze had his can. Um, the result hasn't come. Bonke is not participating this evening as well. Because he's uh, had a knock. He's overstretched as well. You know the boy walked too hard in class. He did so well. And the uh, medical team is still working on him. It's 24 hours before the game. We're not going to risk anything. I'm expecting reports from medical team, and once they get that to me by 9 p.m. tonight, and then we know that I will be on the pitch tomorrow. Now. But we have enough personnel in the team that can do the job. Great, Japan. The Nigerian coach, I've been more stressed. We have the Ghanaian coach, Otoadu, and um, the captain at 7 10 p.m. Thank you. Okay, I understand the sports ministry is giving to journalists 200 tickets. Remember, I meet Mr. Tolu Ogutime for your tickets, 200 tickets for sports journalists for their families uh, so that they can have them around the stadium. Thank you.